Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube sales video. I just want to uh, put a few things there on the screen. You need to reach out to me at my email address, which is I am the funky pickle at gmail.com. Shipping is $5 in the US, no matter how many pieces you buy. International is more, and I only accept PayPal at this time. Well, thank you again so much for coming, everybody. I guess we're just going to get started. I have some very pretty things at a lot of different price points. So hopefully you're going to find something you like that you will also be able to afford. All right. Thanks again for coming. Let's get started. Let's start out with this copper bracelet. Isn't it pretty? This is very uh, mid-century, probably 60s, I would think. This is genuine copper on the back of each. There is, uh, you know, just a little bit of wear. Actually, not not bad. This is approximately uh, seven and three quarter inches long, just approximately. And um, yeah, so this is uh, item number one. It's twenty five dollars. Here's a very interesting Monet brooch. Now this one is new in its box. I've never removed this. That's a fantastic kind of 1950s style poodle brooch. Isn't that darling? <laughs> I love this. I couldn't find anything like it. It is Marc Monet on the back, brand new in the box, not super vintage, but super pretty. Here's a very rare and special Trafari pin. We'll take a look at the back. There's the signature, Crown Trafari. This is part of a set. There should be a girl too, but this one is, is just the boy, as you can see. I think the girl's name is Metsy. This is named John. This is not easy to find. You see it's in nice shape. I don't see any loss to the pearl, faux pearl, of course. And yeah, the rhinestones look good too. So this is a little rare Trafari pin. This necklace measures about 17 inches long. I love this thing. There's something very mod about it. Very cool. And it's new with a tag. It's a Napier. Not a super old Napier. But I love it. I love the articulation on this one. I love everything about it. Isn't that pretty? Who else loves bug jewelry? I do. This is very cute. I love the pink head and the ABs. Nice legs too. And this is a Joan Rivers. There's the cartouche. It's just a sweet little thing, isn't it? It's in really nice condition too. That's unusual, I think. Here's a cute little Swarovski bug pin. It's in nice shape. Very nice rhinestones. I don't see any problems at all. Very cute. There's the swan. That's a fun one. Here's a very pretty designer brooch. I love this. I love that it's gold and white. I think that's kind of different. Usually you see white, you know, on a silver tone. This is in very nice condition. I love those rhinestones. I love the white stone in the center. And this is a designer piece, Dina Cola. Nice height. Let me back it up a little bit. Lovely. Here's a beautiful old Bakelite horse. This is so interesting with the metal here, the metal mane. I love him. I paid up for him. I paid a bunch for him. I can't remember what, but I know it was not that cheap. But he he's pretty fine. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> I love his face. Great expression. This is a very interesting ring. I love the carving on this. This is Shell Cameo. I think this is gold filled. We're going to have a look at it in a minute. This is nice and big, 
almost a nine, eight and a half, eight and three quarters, something right in that zone. I think her face is very expressive. This is a nice long piece and it is gold filled. 120th, what does it say? Uh, yeah, 120th, 12 karat gold filled. Yeah. That's what it looks like on. Very flattering, I think. I want to mention, you know, there is some adjustability here, but I would be very careful. I would think this is probably um, just very breakable. So I don't know about making it smaller or trying to make it bigger. I probably wouldn't recommend that, but that's up to you. That's a great old piece. Here's a cute dragonfly brooch. This is an Avon, Kenneth J. Lane for Avon. In nice shape. Very cute. Great statement piece. Look at these pretty earrings. Very, very pretty shell. Some nice inlay there, the mother of pearl. These are very nice. I didn't see any marks or anything like that. And I don't think these are sterling on top, but I think they're quite lovely. Here's a pretty little antique brooch. I would consider this micro mosaic. This is very small, some of these little tesserae here. Not a lot of loss. That's very pretty. Do you like it? I really do. We'll take a look at the back. That's a pretty little thing. Some people like them old. I know I do. Here's a very pretty beaded necklace. Now this spring ring is gold filled. I don't know if these little gold parts between are also gold filled. I'm not sure, but this has very, very pretty marbleization. Uh, this is Bakelite, and there is one issue with one of the little beads back here. It's not that bad. I don't think it's very noticeable, but, you know, if that's going to bug you, just something to think about. Just pointing it out. This measures about 23 inches long. I love Bakelite stuff. I think this one's very cool. This necklace is beautiful. I'm guessing that's pink quartz. This is nice and heavy. How pretty. I'm surprised this isn't sterling, but I guess it isn't. It's about 21 inches long. I guess it could be somewhat shorter. Yeah, why not? Sure. Maybe about an inch or so shorter if you want. In nice condition. That one's very pretty. I got this interesting bolo necklace in a jewelry jar recently. I think it's darling. I just love her earrings and her mouth too. This is very, very nicely made. These beads are glass. It is about 36 inches long or so. And of course this is adjustable so you can move this part up and down as, as you would like. This is likely hand done, right? Very cool, really cool. I love the colors too. Something very bright about them. Bright and fun. I'm going to sell all three of these necklaces together. Such beautiful colors. There is about a 16 inch drop. So these are nice and long. All kinds of different, different stones. How pretty, very pretty. There's no uh, toggle or catch of any kind, no hardware. I think this is a fascinating piece. This is called a storyteller brooch and it's copper it's clearly hand done. You see kind of how irregular that is. And then our dangling kind of beads are down here. Didn't see a signature on it. 
I love this. I love jewelry with movement. That's very different. Very, very interesting piece. Here's a lovely anthropomorphic bracelet. How interesting. I love those sun faces. This is silver and it's nice and heavy. I'm going to weigh it for you because it actually has some very nice weight to it. Nice thickness also. It measures about seven and three quarter inches long. Yeah, almost 23 grams. Nice heavy piece, very well made. Cute too. I love this little lamp brooch. Isn't this cute? And I just put a new battery in it. It lights up. How sweet is that? I don't think this is very old or anything, but it certainly is very, very cute. Let me just turn the lights on. And that's what it looks like when it's unlit. Take a look at the back a little bit better. Not marked. Don't know who made it. Cute item, though. Have a look at this lovely shell cameo. I love the frame on this one and this top. Now, there is sort of a problem. This is like a little bit crooked. And then I not too cleverly tried to put this ring on it. But it's kind of going the wrong way, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody could do a better job than me. But this is sterling silver. This is screaming 20s. Look at the flower on her shoulder. Here's a pretty little costume jewelry cross. Isn't that sweet? It's nicely made too. It can be a pendant, but this like folds back down, which I think is a really nice feature. I love the colors on this one. I think it's interesting that it has kind of gold in the center and then kind of aqua around the sides with the petals. That's a pretty little thing. Look at this pretty bracelet. I love these blue stones in nice condition. Boy, if I didn't know any better, I really would have said this is likely sterling. But I guess it isn't. It's not marked. This is a Catherine Popesco. That's a nice collectible brand. And this is about seven and a half inches long. This is so nicely made. You can really tell it's a designer piece. It's a beautiful shade of blue. So this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to sell this whole box at once and everybody can just send me an email and let me know what you'd like to pay for it. I'm going to run this for 24 hours and the highest price is going to get it. These are nice and old, but they have issues. Like this one is missing its pin. You certainly could wear it as a necklace if you wanted to. That's a very beautiful Victorian piece. And then this one, this one's actually my favorite one. And this also could be worn as a pendant, but this is also missing its pin. Look at that. Very pretty knot. Beautiful detailing on this. And this one is missing this thing here. I think, yeah, that's supposed to, there's supposed to be one there too. Not on the bottom though. Maybe something, I don't know. Well, this one has its, <laughs> it has this part, but not this part. I bought these because I was going to do something with them, but, oh, this one, this is a really easy fix. This is nice, too. Look at that. It has its T-bar hinge. Nice oldie. Now, this one, I, I think something's just supposed to be in, like, on that middle part. Like, this has this, you know? So, that's just missing that, but everything else on this one is good. And then we have this lovely little thing. Very pretty Vauxhall glass. It's all beat, <laughs> beat up, really beat up, but maybe somebody could use those glass parts. I don't know. And then this, I don't think there is anything wrong with this. Yeah, I guess not. It's like a fan thing, a pendant, I guess. 
I got this all from the same place. So I don't know if the same person had all of these. And then we have this little transfer wear beauty. When I see these and they don't have their like frame, you know, they don't have the gold part. I always wonder if somebody took it off because the gold was real and they needed to pawn it or something. And here's a little piece of something. It snaps up. That's how that works. Probably gold filled, right? Oh, and here's, yeah, here's that matching earring. There's nothing wrong with the earring. It's just that there's only one of them. And anyone who's clever could do something with these. And this one, oh man, this is great. This is likely from the 1920s and he doesn't have a face. Still interesting. Maybe somebody has a little something they could put in there. And then we have this. No back, but this opens nicely. That's glass. That probably was meant to hold hair in the day. And then this is one of those, one of those things. Atomizer, is that what it's called? But it has some gold tone loss and stuff. So I'm going to let that one go too. And then this is a little piece, a nice little Victorian something, something. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. I'm not sure, but it is nice. And then, oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with that. And then this thing, let's see what this is. Oh, this is just missing a lot of its gold. It's not broken or anything and it still opens, I think. Yeah, it opens fine. And look, there's like glass in there. Just missing a lot of its, its plating is all. So just send me an email at IamThePunkyPickle at gmail.com. Highest bid within 24 hours is gonna win this whole lot. Here's a cute little Swarovski pin. There's the swan. It's a little tack pin. It works fine. Oops, sorry. That's a very cute little masquerade mask. This is such a fun pendant. I have seen these fish. This is probably from the 60s or 70s. I've seen fish like this many, many times before but I have never seen one with this sort of cha-cha <laughs> uh, glass stones. I just think that's darling. I love it. Look at the eye too. Didn't see a mark, not real or anything. Very fun though. Look at the movement. That's a great piece. Here's a beautiful necklace. So they tell me this is blue gold stone, which is crazy because gold stone is already misnamed because it's not gold and it's not stone. Uh, I think it usually has copper flecks in it, but there's a certain process. I think it's a complicated process too, where they, I don't know, they put air in it or deny it of air or something. And it's interesting. So this is just glass and it's blue. So it's blue gold stone. It's very, very pretty. Let me put it on my neck so you can really get a better look at it. Isn't that a lovely thing? This measures about 18 inches long. And then you have this sort of cat eye effect. There's a barrel clasp in great shape too. That one's really pretty. How pretty, look at, look at all the, the play and the light. This necklace is very pretty. I didn't really put it on here so great, but there's three different strands. Very beautiful stones. And the finding is sterling. It measures about 18 inches long, but you can make it shorter uh, a little bit. And there it is, 925. Isn't that pretty? It's gonna look prettier on than it does on this. It's not kind of really looking right on this, but that's interesting. I'm going to sell these together. These are both designer. This one is a Nolan Miller. This is very pretty. I love flower brooches. Look at the leaf. Very nice enameling. And then this one I believe is a Napier. 
This one I don't think has been worn. Yeah, I got this from an estate sale. Anyway, gonna sell both of these together. These are very blingy. This necklace is about 23 inches long. You can just see the quality there. This is designer. It is Napier, I think, right? Let's see. Let's find it. There it is. See it? Napier. Very elegant. So nicely made. I love the faux pearls and the gold together. I like the little spacers. This is in very nice condition, too. Take a look at these beautiful Haskells. I love these. I just wanted to show them to you so you can see sort of how they dangle. But let me take them off so we can get a better look. These are so beautiful. Now, one thing I really love about them is they're very light. So they would be extremely comfortable to wear. Now, they're not marked. And the reason is that somebody had these made into posts, which is something else I really love about them. So they're not marked. And it looks like somebody did this professionally also. Somebody maybe had their jeweler do it or something, or somebody really knew what they were doing. Or maybe they were made like this. I don't think so, though. I think these were only made in clips. These are absolutely verified to be real Haskells. They're gorgeous. They're light. They're so sparkly. And they are in fantastic shape. No missing stones or issues. Here's a great pair of vintage bracelets. What a beautiful cherry red this is. And these are Lucite. And I love the metal work on them too. And I also love that they come as a pair. They are about eight, or eight inches or so around the inside. What a lovely set this is. I love bangle bracelets. Look at that condition. Sometimes you see these and they're scratched up, but that is not the case here. Beautiful vintage pieces. This Monet is not terribly vintage, but it is new in its box. I think I got this about eight years ago or so. This is very unusual. Look at that. <laughs> what an awesome fairy. Nice and fuzzy here. So lovely. 32 to 34 inches long. Gold tone. Very fluffy and fun. I love that one. I love the blue. Look at the blue in her dress. Look at this unusual pendant. Well, it's a whole necklace, but I don't think anybody probably wants to wear it like this. This is very worn out. It's suede, I guess. But uh, this is lovely. I guess that's hand carved, I'm thinking. It's very different. Not signed or anything. But I bet you that took somebody a very, very long time to do. I think it's cool, too, that, you know, you can put it on any chain you want. Long or short. Pretty. Here's a beautiful antique pendant. It's not a locket, believe it or not. It doesn't open. It seems like it should, right? So I'm guessing this is just gold filled or something. So, well, it's certainly not real gold. How pretty is that? It's a beautiful antique piece. In nice condition, too. Look at this awesome mod Santa face. Isn't that fun? It's in nice condition too. I love his hat. <laughs> I love this part here, that kind of ribbon candy looking stuff. I like his mustache too. Let's take a look at this beautiful sterling silver ring. Oh, this is so nice. I'm going to put the 
designer on the screen because now I, I can't remember who it is. I love interchangeable jewelry. Let's see where the mark is in here. This is 925. Yeah, you can see that, right? And there's the STS. I love the high. I love a high setting like this. So each of these unscrews and you can just very, very easily put on a different color. So we have the clear, this beautiful purple. This is a very different purple and the pink too. Let me just put this other kind of purple so you can see how different they are. This one has more blue. Or maybe that one is blue. What do you think? Yeah, I suppose so. I love this. I really love this. In very nice condition. Let's have a quick look at the size. Size 7. That's really neat because, you know, it's four different rings in one. Well, I'd like to thank you again so very much for coming. That's all I've got for this time around. Let me know what you think. I hope if you just came to watch, you enjoyed looking at some of my beautiful pieces. If you'd like to buy anything, just reach out to me at my email address with the information that you see on your screen. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day.